Welcome along to the Community Elements Show and we've uh, actually come down here now to Duthy Park. Why to Duthy Park? Uh, we normally, right at this time, be broadcasting Brian's Good News and that's coming up just a little bit later. But that's just after I've been into Duthy Park to go to the Allotment Market Store. Now the Allotment Market Store, uh, if you've been listening from previous times, is uh, all about using the fresh produce from the allotments from around Aberdeen and uh, selling off at uh, low prices so that's what I'm actually up to um, and as you can see the park is actually quite busy we've just come down close to about the end of uh, serving time so I just managed to catch them which is uh, excellent but they've got on offer some thyme some rosemary cabbage onions uh, rhubarb courgettes uh, by the dozen and uh, they've also got some red currants as well so I think we'll uh, see what we can get of these so if we can have uh, whoops <laughs> it is it, some peas Peas, yes. Is that enough for you? Yeah, that'll be that'll be great. Thank you. Okay, that's thirty-nine pence. Okay. Refer to as marrows. <laughs> Definitely. Wow. Uh, I see you even got a squash here, but I think I'll take uh, two of your larger courgettes and that would more than do for what we need. And I'll also take uh, a little bit of rhubarb as well, please. We've now come back again to the kitchen at the Gospel Hall and so the Green and Orange Chef is here and we're going to start cooking. Now the haul that I managed to get from Duffy Park was £5.20 pence. and this is two, I have to say, very, very, very large, well, courgette. In fact, they're more like marrows and this one I've got in my hand here looks more like a baton for we're going to cut that up and we're going to be making that one into uh, this courgette savoury. So to do that I've actually brought in here we've got some eggs and these eggs have come from Shetland and the eggs we're going to be using for binding things together and creating a lovely uh, rich sauce that will go with everything. So it'd be kind of a bit like bacon and eggs. Now the reason I mentioned Shetland eggs is we haven't deliberately shipped these in. These have been given to us by a friend who lives on Shetland who happened to uh, send these over by another friend. But anyway, that's by the way. Uh, so these are proper hen's eggs. And to just to double check, we're going to go and uh, fill a bowl up with water. And there's a special test that you can actually do. And if the eggs sink, then they're okay. But if the eggs float, then they're not okay. it kind of means that they've been sitting around for too long. So I'm going to try these two eggs. The larger of the two eggs is from one of the hens and the other four from the other hen. So anyway, both these I think we can simply say are under the water. Therefore they're both fine to use, which is great. Just what we want. Uh, we don't want to have wasted eggs. So one of the next things that we're going to do is to actually put the oven on. So put the oven on around about 170 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, centigrade and uh, once it's heated up 
we'll be able to cook uh, the whole dish for about uh, 40 minutes. Now 40 minutes I'm saying as a, a minimum and we'll be checking it after 40 minutes. What we're going to do in just a moment, we're going to be chopping up a red onion and also a, a, a larger white onion. Both these have actually come from the allotment market store. We've got some bacon larders from the local supermarket. We also got some thyme from the uh, allotment market store, which they gave free. We've got some peas, uh, and peas, and uh, the bacon larder is going to go well. Don't worry if you don't have any. Oh. Now, on cutting up this red onion, unfortunately, some onions are perhaps not quite so good. The red onion may be just slightly over a little bit, but there are usable parts in that onion, so try to use whatever parts are available. And having done that, uh, you can actually pop all this stuff away. Uh, you can make use of the food waste bins that are outside in most of the uh, city areas. Uh, and if you are in the countryside, uh, use uh, you will probably end up with a, a boot caddy that has been given to you, so use that. And if you've got a compass tape, then you can pop the whole lot out there. Uh, no need for everything to stay in the house and make it smell. And I know I would be in trouble here uh, if uh, the uh, Victoria Gospel Hall ended up smelling of onion. Right, so what we've done so far in the kitchen, we've cut up the onions, we've shelled the peas, and we've actually made uh, the topping for the bread. Now the topping I've made just simply by scrunching up in my hand some uh, crisp breads uh, that have been sitting around a little bit long. That doesn't mean to say they can't be used. Into that we've added some cheese and just mix it up lightly. Now you may want to use this and make it into proper breadcrumbs with a a food processor and you can do that and everything will be all nice and uh, homogenized fine you can also use uh, bits of bread and breadcrumbs certainly uh, but this is nice and crisp already and the cheese will help to bind things together what i'm now going to do is to break open the eggs that i've tested earlier and there we are try not to get the shell in with the egg like i have but anyway that's by the way uh, it is good wholesome free range eggs. We have tested it and the eggs uh, sink rather than float. So we know that we're all good there. They come from uh, free range in Shetland. And uh, so we're looking forward to trying it. Now do the two eggs and uh, then add in a little bit of milk and we're gonna whisk that up with some salt and pepper and a few herbs. And this will help to impart a really uh, wonderful and some people might even say unctuous uh, sauce inside uh, and will go really really well with the uh, bacon lardons. Now what you can do uh, as I say is to fry up the bacon lardons and the onions and while those are frying and I will have made up this uh, the egg and uh, the milk mixture Fairly simply, I have to say, uh, you can do that with a fork even. And so we've got a fork here, just a little bit of milk, you don't need too much. Um, now, as the vegetables uh, cook, they will also release moisture, uh, and that will be that be really good. So what we have is an oval dish here, and we're going to be cutting the we're going to be cutting one of these large courgette marrow type things up the one that looks like a baton up nicely this doesn't have to be done for too long and some chefs i would imagine will probably say that was too long but we'll do that and we'll add a few extra spices into them and one of the things is i've got some bacon larders and these have been helpfully divided up into two portions so if you're cooking for one you uh, the way that this comes off you can just uh, open up one portion but if it's going to be two portions like it is we'll just have that so open up both portions 
and uh, we'll put this on one of these uh, induction hobs uh, so that is going to become quite warm now uh, and uh, so we'll open up that one and we'll fry those up until they become nice and caramelised. We'll also be adding the onion at the same time and then we'll start cutting up the uh, courgette. This is Gospel for Grampian, Gospel Community Radio for North Scotland, engaging, equipping and enabling communities to live life to the full with Christ Jesus at the centre. Now this programme is the Community Elements Show and uh, the or Green and Orange Chef I'm in the kitchen right now and cooking up a courgette savoury. And this courgette savoury has been made from some fairly simple ingredients. In the saucepan on the uh, induction hob here we have got uh, some bacon lardons. These are smoked bacon lardons which come as a, a pack which contains two individual sections. and. Uh, I've cut up some onion, some red onion and some uh, large onion and the red onion and large onion have come as indeed some of the other ingredients we're going to be using from the allotment market store. Uh, the allotment market store grows the excess of what those who have allotments in Aberdeen don't need and they would like to sell off for a reasonable price and then that can go into uh, helping to maintain the allotments and back to some of the allotment holders as well which is really good. And in fact, the excess from that will actually go to Seafine. Seafine is Community Food Initiatives Northeast, and they do a great job in being able to distribute fresh fruit and produce at low prices, or indeed at no price at all, to those who are in need and also to businesses to make sure that there's little wastage of food. Now, in just a little while, we're going to have uh, David Keith into the studio and we'll be chatting to him uh, about recycling and about waste uh, waste and recycling um, and uh, he'll be also be letting us know that uh, there's a new charge coming out so if you've got garden waste and you would like to the council to pick that up in the future there will be a charge for picking that up so david will be coming in to explain exactly what when and how and that's just in a little while we're continuing on here in the kitchen and uh, fairly soon we should get the lovely smells of cooking bacon lardons. So that's the sound of the cooking bacon lardons coming through just now. I'm going to go and add the onions to this. Uh, the bacon lardons should be uh, nicely cooked. Uh, we won't be adding all the onions, we'll just add half the onion, uh, half the big onion and uh, allow the onions and the bacon lardons to get nicely uh, cooked uh, at least and don't be afraid as well to play around with food don't be afraid to play around with herbs as well uh, even putting in something as simple for example as a uh, once it's uh, been cooked as simple as uh, some thyme and uh, also a stock cube with a bit of a uh, bit of moisture in there cover the pot and make sure it's it's covered so the idea is that you retain the heat and you also get the uh, flavors of the onion and the bacon lardons mixing up uh, really really well so that's what we're doing right now uh, I'm going to be starting to chop up this humongous courgette, uh, which is more like a marrow. I'm putting in a stock cube, and this will be a, a great source of flavour to the whole dish. So the oven is on, and it's, it should be heating up nicely. Keep the lid on and turn it down a little bit. It's actually not an induction hob for which you'll need special saucepans. This is a halogen hob. Uh, so I was a little bit wrong when I said induction before. It looks a bit like an induction hob, but it's a halogen hob. Um, and we've now got our onion, which we'll put over here. 
just temporarily and um, not for too long but just long enough to give me the opportunity to start cutting this huge humongous uh, courgette marrow up well someone likes their courgettes that's for sure If you actually cut it into half and then cut it into smaller strips and uh, obviously if it's smaller it will cook all the better for it. Halves divide up into quarters uh, and uh, If electricity, particularly of energy or gas, is of an issue and you're on a prepayment meter, then if you cook it too long, then some of the flavour might well cook out and that is something you would want to avoid. So there will be a picture coming up here of the uh, how things are being cut up to the various slices. Uh, this is not master chef, so you're not under any assessment or anything the important thing to do is to cook wholesomely and uh, as and when you develop any mess or rubbish uh, clear it away as soon as possible i would certainly not be thanked if i uh, left a mess here at the gospel hall in the kitchen okay so we've actually managed to fill this oval dish uh, with just using half of the courgette that we have. So we're now gonna go put the peas in. Let's spread the peas out. And this will also go into towards your fiber day of fruit and veg. Uh, consider the onions, it won't really matter quite how you do the onions. In fact, it might be better to put them, the uh, onions on at least in here we go like that and again it's not master chef we're making wholesome food here and it, the intention is to make it good and hopefully for the whole family don't forget that some people may have allergies to onions I know that one person does but generally speaking onions are good and wholesome and can be used in most cases so we've got that we're now going to go and take the flour So I'm just going to take a picture of this one because we're starting to assemble our dish now uh, and it won't be long before we put it in the oven. So the bacon lardons are now coming out, they're very hot, very warm, but what's coming out is quite unctuous. We'll let this one just rest for a little bit, we'll turn this one off, make sure that you don't have any uh, rings on that you don't need. It's all too easy to do that, I've sometimes come into the kitchen after quickly going out and especially if it's a gas ring. Uh, you need to make sure that you switch the gas ring off immediately after finishing using it uh, and then you're not wasting energy, any energy and that uh, helps out with saving also anyone from injury or worse still. So we're going to let that cool a tad uh, and then we'll go and add uh, the uh, egg mixture that we've got but we'll just let that cool for about five or six minutes. Uh, okay, what we're now going to do is to actually pour, we'll put the egg over and we're now going to pour the uh, crumble bit over 
and I try and make sure it's all sort of as well mixed as it's possible to to get mixed but uh, just make sure it is spread it out as evenly as possible over the top so not too much comes down onto the floor or anything else and see so I'm going to do a little bit of work here to make sure it's all nice and clean for everyone coming in on Sunday but uh, generally speaking it should be all right and the idea is to actually have a good family sized meal ready uh, in this case it'll be something that we can actually come back to again tomorrow um, and uh, so this is a courgette savory uh, and we're putting the topping on and uh, we've uh, got quite a bit of cheese running through here um, Inside it's actually quite wet, so the amount of crumble, dry crumble on top should be alright. We're keeping it to a reasonable temperature, but it will need checking on to make sure that all is well. It now looks something like a small mound. So we're now going to go and put this into the oven with care. So the next time it comes out is in 40 minutes time. This is the Green and Orange Chef and we've been creating a courgette savoury. It should be said that this is really a memory from a recipe dish that my mum used to create uh, down in Devon when we lived down there and we had a lovely Rayburn and she'd create these uh, courgettes. In fact, I think we used to grow courgettes in the garden but uh, it smelled so lovely and it was lovely. She used to run it through with egg and I think it was egg and bacon and onion and courgettes and just the most wonderful things as you can imagine with home cooking. And we've tried to create something about that here. The ingredients we have sourced have come from the allotment market uh, store and uh, this is really produce that has been grown on Aberdeen's allotments and uh, is really in excess and it gets sold off for reasonable prices. So I walked off with some very reasonably priced fruit and veg, about four or five kilos worth for £5.20. pence. Not bad indeed. And it just shows that you can actually more than feed a family. You can more than do two people. Uh, and so we bought some onions. We bought rhubarb we got a given a sprig of thyme which is great this is uh, something we're able to use we use up some eggs two eggs that came from shetland from friends of ours uh, there was some cheese which was really really crumbly which we had in our fridge at home and we bought some bacon lardons and were able to create a, a meal and probably more than a meal for two people. Certainly if you see the size of what we have in the kitchen, it seems to come out all right. And uh, what we've done is to cover it with foil now. And because it's warm, it will keep cooking uh, the uh, courgettes that have been cut into thinner battens uh, compared to what they were. Um, and you'll see the photographs as well. Just showing that you can create uh, nutritious dishes from actually not much more than uh, fairly simple ingredients if you're willing to put it, uh, effort into it. Uh, in this case, you can let the oven do a lot of it. Uh, and uh, really from experience, it would be advisable uh, cooking uh, it and then Covering it with uh, foil once uh, you've cooked and you've actually put a knife through uh, and checked it. And you'll find out that the once the courgette is actually cooked and it's soft, put some foil over it and leave it in a warm oven for it to, uh, to cool down. And then that can be uh, 
used. Uh, and you can actually make use of that one. You can we put peas into this as well, so it's uh, quite nutritious. Uh, but you could put beans in. You could put peppers in. Um, you could make it into a much bigger dish. But bear in mind the cooking time will be longer. We had the cooking time, the temperature one hundred and seventy degrees Celsius. So it's all good. But uh, just bear in mind, don't be afraid to experiment. Certainly, don't waste food. Did you realize that Scots throw out enough food each year to make 800 million meals? The cost of available food waste is £1 billion a year. The average amount of Scottish households could save each year uh, by not wasting good food is about £460 per person. 360,000 tonnes is the amount of good food bin by Scottish households each year. The Scottish Government has a target to reduce the amount of food we throw away by a third by 2025. So let's not waste food. Let's make sure that those less fortunate than ourselves actually have the food available to them. Uh, during this uh, programme, we've also shown you how uh, you can check eggs for viability. If you think they may have been around for a little bit longer and uh, they're tempted to throw them out. Well, one test that you could use is to uh, put the eggs into water and if the eggs float then that's definitely no but if the eggs don't float then and they sink then that is is okay and you can and uh, could use those uh, providing you then cook with them and then that should be perfectly wholesome so this is gospel for grampian and we trust that uh, this will encourage you into uh, cooking for yourself, cooking for others and helping to avoid wasting food.